Sydney University, when I went there, you know, the, 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 the review was a big thing and performance was encouraged. It allows you to explore the creative aspects of a whole lot of different range of things, not just design and the built environment. I became a, a sports commentator and, and found that television, there was a very creative side to television and, and I was applying some of the skills that I'd learned. Eventually I thought no one in Australia is actually doing uh, uh, architecture like they were doing gardening shows or cooking shows at the time. And I thought, there's a, there's a niche there. How do I combine my passion for, for architecture, which I love, and my passion for, for the media in creating things? If you have a burning passion to be an architect, you know, obviously go for it. But even if you're not sure, it's a good place to start at because generally you get a, a broad appreciation of, of, of aesthetics and, and train your brain to, to look at things a little bit creatively. And ask yourself the question, who are my favourite architects? What do I love about them? I think if you can go with a mindset and a passion that, you know, it's like I want a career in cricket. I, I love the Australian cricket captain. I can name Don Bradman's scores. If you have a passion for it, I think you'll be um, pleasantly surprised at the possibilities.